Yo guys, welcome back to Polynesia. So, we didn't quite achieve everything in Congress in the last part, which was a little bit sad. I should have been a bit braver, and we could have actually got World Religion through, uh, as well as naying the sanction on us, which was proposed. But instead, I just fully naed the sanction. Uh, I misjudged it a bit. I thought everyone was a bit more against us than they really were. Like, it actually would have been quite easy to achieve both. And I also, I just felt like... We have enough votes anyway, like, by the time we get to the United Nations, we should e easily have the amount of votes that we need to get the, um, the win. But I felt like having more science right now would be more useful, so making sure that we didn't get sanctioned so that we could keep these pretty, uh, crazy good trade routes that we've got going on would be good, but I guess they're falling off anyway, to be honest. Um, we actually could just start doing started doing trade routes with city states, so yeah, probably made a mistake there almost for sure. And I also this might not have been a good thing to propose either. I think maybe I should have done World's Fair right now. Uh, a lot of policies could help us right now, and if we got a free policy in 14 turns, we might actually be able to use that to get us corporations so that we can build the food corporation which is obviously like a pretty amazing one um because yeah once we we can use this tech to get a free tech so whenever we get to that um and yeah i think i'm gonna go freedom so it would be good to start getting through some of those policies actually there's a couple of really nice ones in there but hopefully it will work out relatively well anyway um, it's just a bit of a shame because the last Congress session we had two things that we really cared about and this one we literally have none because I just kind of proposed this because there wasn't that much else that I thought would be useful and I thought I could wait one with World's Fair but yeah probably should have just proposed World's Fair anyway though we're still doing good uh, in a war with France do you know what I realized is that even though I don't really want to conquer them what I could actually do is try and uh, hand somewhere off to like Manila or uh, Buenos Aires since they're at war with them as well so if I can build some more boats we can definitely do that um, or maybe I could just take it as a puppet I feel like having another full city would be a bit of a waste but we could at least get our bloody horses back and build another moist statue in there one more thing is that I'm pretty sure I did not do this embassy so I can nick this embassy with a great general, and then I can um, put a diplomat and get my own embassy there again. So I shall try and do that, is my plan. Um, yeah, other than that, we'll try and get Eiffel Tower for sure. And we're basically building factories everywhere. Got a mission to build observatories, so we'll do that after. Uh, mostly trying to focus science in cities and then obviously work all the moist statues that we've pretty much built now. Other thing we should try and build are as many uh, villages as we want actually, because they get buffed by rationalism and also uh, by freedom, which I believe we will go for. We get some more votes from freedom and a couple of other things like uh, trade routes. Also, I'm starting to think that I would have much rather had Glory of God in this game um, than this Reformation belief. And then I could have gone for like industry or maybe even imperialism rather than rationalism, which I feel like is not actually doing that much for us. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah. To be honest, the most annoying thing about not having world religion is actually the lack of the pressure bit of it. Um, yeah, it would have been nice to have that to help us actually secure all these Buddhist cities down here and maybe even get Germany converted because it has been a long and painful religious war that we've had. Um, but oh well, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do here. See if we can make any progress in this war and see if we can build Eiffel Tower as well. Though I'm not too hopeful about that. It's a shame that doesn't work. Milagua. 
Yeah, to be honest, I feel like uh, deals would actually be in a really good place if you could just click this button and it actually worked properly. But unfortunately, that ain't the case. Also, raus damit. Und? Ich kann wohl nicht anders. Sure. Minuterisch. Cool. Alright. That's good money. We need to buy some factories. Upgrade units as well, actually. Some of these Corvettes could definitely do with uh, being ironclads. Could make a rather large difference. Especially if they're going to bring Corvettes of their own. Talking about Florence has declared war on me. Goddamn idiots. Oh wow. So if this guy was level 3. Wow, okay. I guess I'd do that. Okay, I should have used the level 3 guy there then. Alright, yeah, we'll just keep doing stuff like that. Let's bring this dude around. Like I said, maybe... I guess if we want to conquer a city, it needs to be either down here or uh, one of these ones. We could definitely do that with some boats. Let's clean out these guys to start. enough faith for that this turn. Factories. Okay, can't quite build a factory there. Is there anywhere I can get coal from? Allegedly not, but there should be some city-state that hasn't done theirs yet. Kiev's done theirs, Kazil has done theirs, what about these guys like in the middle here? They don't really have any, okay. Well that kind of sucks, um, I guess we just build these instead. So two factories, three factories we still need. I mean, we can get these done with, um, bloody, these things, refineries, they'll give us an extra coal. Ah, oh, we're also building a mine as well. That'll be another plus three. Okay. Cool. Okay, cool. Um...
I would really like to get to dynamite next turn. I don't know if it's going to be possible. Need some cities to grow, really. Only got one. I guess if I have another ally, that would actually help me to reduce the cost a little bit more. And I can buy some stuff also. Like some of these factories that are going to take a while. Actually, there's only like one route. Okay, two. Jesus, okay. Fuck that then. Nah, mate, we still got some work to do here. Okay, fair enough. Um, oh. Oh, it wasn't enough. Okay, to be honest, I want to get some ironclads then. I actually don't think upgrading the units, the, or investing in the buildings is that useful. Let's go for empiricism. This guy just chills here then. Well, we should really just get all of our people upgraded. Oh no, we have a happiness needs reduction. And plus two happiness. Okay. Um. Okay, yep, we do have the quest to build observatories, so we shall do them everywhere. Nice, we need more money really, I don't know where we're going to get it from though. Uh, good to do that quest as well, and we shall get a great diplomat there. Ah, oh, we can buy one here as well. Perfect. I should have checked this before, but I'm pretty sure there was one other spot that was available. I think it was Mombasa. So yeah, this guy will go down there. This guy will use here. So I wonder if this would update straight away. Hmm. 
Was it France's or something? I think it was. And then we can put ours like there. That will work out nicely. Right, I feel like I'm not getting many new quests right now. Pretty unfortunate. Uh, there are some more resources we don't have that we could get quests for. Um, there are other city-states we haven't converted. So I don't really know why we're not getting any. She Korea was in a pretty rough spot last time I looked. Yeah. Okay, order for Babylon and Assyria. Fair enough. That's a bit of a scary one, I would say. As soon as my um, it would be nice if some of them would go freedom. Uh, there are some bonuses that we can get if multiple people are freedom. Maybe I should just go order. There's definitely some good policies in order. It would help us with uh, tech quite a bit, actually. More safe to spend on missionaries. Okay. Caravanissary. Man. <laughs> Definitely need some guilds in some places. Okay, uh, I'm going to put this guy here. I will build a railroad over there. Soon. Um, yes, you are heading down to here. That's just a diplomat, no need to worry. And the other guy is going there. Nice. So what I think I should do is actually just move these guys. So the event ends when we move him out. Alright. But now I put this guy in. And this guy... Yeah, I really just need to get him somewhere where it's easy. So that he can level up to level 3. That seems like the best way to go. Um, we should actually be able to steal techs and great works later on, thanks to the Bletchley Park and um, one of the policies in Freedom. If we can get there. And yeah, we're heading towards corporations. Um, Babylon is into modern, so I wonder if he has it already. Where are 
I just wanted to put my unit there. Why is he there? these guys with my ally. Okay. Yeah, let's actually keep the boats together and do like, you know, one base at a time. But you know what, this guy is getting pretty close to having logistics, I think I should try and upgrade him. That guy doesn't really need an upgrade. Yeah, we can only really spend money on certain things actually. Okay. Pretty close to military science. I could make uh, much better units once we get there. We might even be able to get Brandenburg Gate. But nobody else has it yet, so I don't want to research it right now. Okay, I don't want to build the train station. We'll have a factory. This should be done. But I lost them from Kiev. Well, that's annoying. Is he at war with someone? Has states in Assyria. Okay. So he's probably not attacking us, which is good. These observatories definitely give us something else to work in some of these cities where we uh, didn't really have anything else. Um, okay, we have it there. Cool, that should be all of them, I reckon. Right, first embassy. Let's get it down. We need to fight back on some of these city states as well. Uh, we're actually getting them nicked off us. It doesn't really matter at this moment because uh, we don't care about having votes right now, but we definitely want to get them back soon. And yeah, I would like to potentially try and get Buenos Aires another city. I'm just going to bash some cities up, I think, and then we'll see how they respond to that, because they might actually have to, like, retreat if we get a city really low. Man, really? Really? Okay. Okay. 
I mean, it's something. <laughs> Slight yield increase. Did it even do it? Yeah, it seems like it is doing it. Right. Yeah, we should get opera houses everywhere. I mean, we got a lot of culture thanks to all the moist statues. Baths as well. We're actually golden aging soon. Can I get a wall here? Okay, scientific theory next as well. Public schools will definitely help with our science. can actually get field guns as well, but they wouldn't do too much. Probably best thing is some lancers. Wow, they're actually well cheap. Okay. Go on then, we'll, cr we'll try and crash through here next turn. Um, yeah, this is all good. And over here. Dude, you can have field. Um, oh. Okay, well, they are actually at war with Buenos Aires still, right? Okay, so I could still manage to hand the city off. France at war with anyone else? Just Egypt and all of our people. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to try and do that then. I probably will not bother with that though. Okay. Sky is quite far in, but he does have. Wow, I didn't really think of that. What?
Okay, we will go and sort out the boats up there next. I don't really care about that guy, you know. Sorted. Ah, uh, yes, have some more of these guys. Okay, yeah, clearing out uh, these guys and then killing these cities seems more likely to get the city captured by somebody else. Um, but yeah, we'll try and keep this one low as well. What do I need? Um, I could actually do with somebody working a writer's guild. Probably better to do it in the sea places. This like coastal cities is what I mean by that, of course. Somewhere like this, for example. Ship built. Right. Thank God their unique unit is just their land melee unit, man. Can't do shit to boats. I'll get leveled up soon as well. Okay, that's pretty damn low. I like some Gatling guns, they're pretty damn good. Okay, and we hopefully are ready to go this way. Okay, not particularly well. Hell yeah, I cannot afford that. But I can do the double attack. that. Um, so, we did finish this observatory quest, right? 
Well, where is that supposed to be? Like, genuinely, where do we not have one? Here. Okay. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Alright, cool. Three turns till Golden Age, that'll be nice. Seven turns until Congress. Actually, yeah, so somebody at least has corporations. Don't actually know which of these guys it is. Bruh, I hope. Mm, <laughs> I don't know what fucking corporations they're gonna build. Tobacco, coffee, furs, gems. I don't believe that we're going to make it to corporations in time to build the food one. The other ones are okay though. Um, the food one would have been the best, but pretty much any of them like we could use, I feel like. Yeah, and they seem to focus it quite hard. I feel like we got to squish their navy up here first um, before we do damage to cities. But yeah, we should do a lot of damage to the cities, really. But we got to get rid of their navy so that Manila can actually send a boat out. Okay, he's healed up his boat there. Gonna have to retreat. Let's use him. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll start with that actually. I need that done. Should probably buy it. I 
I was actually thinking of settling a city here, but probably not. The fact that we don't have coal is like a bit of a problem. Okay, yeah, let's just do that instead. And here, um, built the writer's guild. Okay, we'll work that straight away. Right, um, unfortunately, somebody else got the embassy done before us, which sucks a lot. Um, I don't know if we actually could have done it like last turn. I could have put it like there or something. Maybe I greeted it a bit, but we'll just have to use this guy for the normal thing. Um, I guess Sidon makes sense. It should be enough to get us the alliance, actually. Other thing, I might as well buy a great writer. We're going to get one soon, naturally, and we want to be able to fill up another theme bonus. So once we have two, we can do that. Tried to fill up the Hermitage, but we actually couldn't quite yet. I basically need a work of art, which isn't from Industrial or Renaissance era. Which, unfortunately, we don't have any of. Uh, we have a couple of artifacts, but they cannot be used. Yeah, there goes 2k foods. Well, those are basically the two best corporations <laughs> that have gone. Unfortunate. Um, let's do that. Loads of stuff still to build in these cities. Let's have the bath and here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna buy that. Okay, cool. They're actually building arsenals, so it's not going to be majorly easy to take the cities anymore. Fair enough to them, though. Guess I should have had this idea of conquering these guys a bit sooner. I think we can still do it. Need some more votes, really, but I also don't want to build any more votes right now. Uh, it would be great to just get all the economic stuff sorted. Seeing how <laughs> I can't believe we're, it's taken so long to catch up on text. And yeah, we're rather behind on policies as well. Even with all of these moist statues, man. 
Right. Yep. Fertilizer next. So. Assyria has tobacco. Korea has gems. Korea's not in modern anyway. So Assyria is going to get trader seeds. Okay, well I'll go for fire excite then. Oh, I don't even fucking have it. I think. Jesus, dude. I mean, I have strategic on iron. Okay, we do have porcelain actually. Yeah, well that's fine then. Man, really? Okay, Manila actually has a bow though. So, don't need a free tech yet. We'll go for this one. Don't really know how that increased our culture. Um, so next one is free tech. So. We'll want to get, you know, get that all lined up so that we can get a good tech at that moment. Aztecs are actually about to pick their ideology. Germany isn't far off as well. Yep, we we'll just do that. Yeah, I mean, we can't really go in the range of arsenals unless we're willing to, you know, properly go in there and sort it all out. Okay, uh, I do need one of our trade routes to end so that I can send one up to Manila. When do we get our next one? I mean, we get summer corporations. Great engineer, I might. Well, we actually shouldn't have any competition on the corporation anyway. Right. Yeah, France has actually got a decent amount of units. I suppose they are authority. Well, we can get some good money from them. That is one thing to bear in mind. I'd rather not peace out now. Maybe I need a great scientist just to get the corporation a bit quicker. I don't know that it would necessarily help, but military science would be cool. Uh, get Brandenburg Gate or just military academies at least. I think 
all this stuff, yeah. It would like be nice, but it wouldn't really make a big difference to the game. We should just save up for maximum science in the future. Okay, this is uh not great actually. <laughs> Look how many boats there are. <laughs> Fucking you know. hell. I can't really use uh these two squares because they're in range of the city. Okay, um, we finally did this right. Great artist, we will do soon. Um, yeah, I am sending missionaries up there as well. Alright, cool. Time to use this guy in Sidon. Pissed off Aztecs probably a bit. No problem though. I mean, we're still getting good faith for this. I could peace out and then just attack in a little bit. Um, you know, once we have probably more units and stuff, I go military science. And we're just kind of getting on top of having everything built as well. Um, in quite a few cities, thanks to the factories. What is my war weariness? Okay, do you know what? Let's actually peace out. Um, should have definitely thought about this first so that I could kill as many units, but whatever. Return uh, like fifty. Okay, eighty. Okay. 
I'll take that. Très bien. Très bien indeed. Alright, well... Yeah, maybe if France declares war on... Uh, or France and Aztecs are in another war, we can get involved there, and if we have some more units as well. But I felt like we were about to actually lose quite a few. No more faith generation though. Um, so this guy is somehow dying. I don't understand. Like, who would even. Oh, it must be Germany, right? I can't ask them to peace out. I can never really release that one as well, which is annoying. Okay, um, let's actually end this part here anyway. So we just got to fertilize our. Yeah, we can now go to corporations if we want. I actually don't know if we need to because. So Babylon already built 2k foods. Um, Germany already built Giorgio Armoire. So I think the one that we would want is Firexite, uh, which we do have the porcelain for. So I don't know if anybody else would even be able to build it. I doubt anybody has these monopolies. Okay, Aztecs do have Jade. But they are actually quite a few texts behind. I don't think they'll be there soon. Um, so yeah, maybe we don't even need to go corporations first. We could go up for Empire State Building or Statue of Liberty. Uh, we do have a great writer in two turns. And um, we could probably also get a great scientist pretty quickly. It might be worth doing just because these wonders are basically like the last wonders that <laughs> we care about in this game. So it might be worth like full committing on on one of them or something. Like I'm pretty sure I do want to go freedom. But yeah, I need to make that decision as well. When we get the next policy, we'll get a free tech. And uh, after we take the policy, we'll get to choose our ideology. There's quite a few reasons to go for freedom. Number one, it actually has um, the extra delegates from this one. I think it would actually give us plus eight, but it might only be plus four. Um, and the extra influence from the trade routes. There's another thing that gives influence, which is this one. Ten influence every time we expend a great person. That would be nice. Um, yeah, and production towards military units. Sure, I would probably go for, I don't know, I always go for universal healthcare. I just feel like you get pretty crazy yields from it, like 250 culture per citizen born is usually what you get, um, and the free hospitals everywhere. Uh, and we could be able to actually steal great works would be good uh, I like the idea of having extra trade routes as well and 
uh, there's another thing that would make our corporation able to create more. So it would be good to get that corporation up with a lot of uh, franchises as quickly as possible. And I think freedom would help us do that. Um, though you could say order would do it very quickly as well. But then we would need motherland calls instead. Which maybe would be alright. Um, <laughs> I don't know, they might build on... Well, they don't even have replaceable parts actually. So we could quite safely get that. Even though Assyria and Babylon both have order. Hmm. So I should take a proper look at that. Anyways though, Congress in two turns. Don't really care about this stuff, but we might as well get the historical landmarks. And then definitely want to propose World's Fair next. It is time to sort out the culture and start going crazy with it, I think. Um, yeah, we can buy great writers. So, yeah, we definitely want to have um, the World's Fair going next, I think. And after that, hopefully, we'd be able to even start doing like United Nations and that kind of stuff the session after. Or maybe we'll have time to try and get world religion. Maybe. We do have three uh, sieves like solidly following our religion now. And obviously a lot of votes, especially if we can get to that uh, policy as well. So. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty crazy how we still haven't caught up on tech right now. Still four behind. I feel like the Scholars in Residence have been active for ages. We've had a big bonus from Scholasticism as well for a while. Even had science from our Reformation belief. Much earlier than usual. I mean, most of the places that I'm working specialists is basically a science specialist. Though I haven't been fully religious with doing it. Um, but yeah, also I should get my military units down here. Definitely wouldn't mind another war with France, but uh, probably only if they're at war with Aztecs, because it turns out they had a lot of troops. And maybe if we get military science and we pump out some more highly leveled boats, uh, that could also be good. We are still a tech ahead on that. For the time being, at least. Um, yeah, <laughs> a lot tougher of a game than I thought it was going to be, but obviously I'm still pretty confident we can get it done. This amount of delegates is rather nice, and we can just keep sending the missionaries to convert people. Also, once we get to modern era, we'll get 50 influence per missionary spread instead of 40, as well as some other era bonuses. I'm not going to lie, I really wish we had industry, actually, the more I think about it. Um, wow, you get the two additional trade routes straight away. That has been changed. I didn't know that. Oh, man, we so should have gone industry with glory of God. I think I even knew that when I chose this reformation, but I wanted to try it out. Whatever. Um, yeah. Statues are pretty much all done though. Civilization is looking rather lovely. This could easily crush my game, but yeah. Especially down here, look at this. Seven culture tile. Could be eight if we had a moi here instead of the cinnamon plantation. Crazy. That's as many as it can be in it because you have to have at least one coast tile to build it. Very, very cool. And we're still a couple of policies behind. <laughs> yeah, we're building, uh, trying to build these uh, trading posts everywhere, or villages or whatever, with. Um, and we'll try and get the railroad to go through them. We can send a 
trade route up there. Buddhism over in uh, Belgrade. Missionaries are on their way there. And yeah, we can convert these guys back. Now we don't have to worry about France being annoying. So yeah, see you all in the next part.